it so hard, there's no time to be lazy. The weekend comes, I'm down with that. Grab your ball, grab your bat, head to the beach, grab some rings. Better hurry up, it's got to be Play again, hang it up, don't let go, so there's no doubt. Coach the ball, not a fun piece of rock. Allergic to guava. Mm. Hello, can we continue? <gasps> right. Sorry. <gasps> Next. <gasps> Next. <gasps> Carver, I don't think looking at pictures of worms is making you hate them any less. I have to try. Just two days till the big Father's Day fishing trip. Why don't you just tell your dad you don't like fishing? I can't let him down like that. He loves it. Next. <gasps> <gasps> Me and my dad are going to Tesla Park for Father's Day. And my brothers. All 14 of them? 16. We get a group discount. Next. <laughs> my dad and I are going to uphold an old country tradition called Mirschkorep, where you bring cheese to the needy. Next. Hey, guys. <laughs> nice to see you, too. Carver, you're looking at pictures of worms. Why? You know Tino's dad lives all the way on the East Coast, right? He's like 3,000 miles away, and Tino only gets to see him a couple of times a year. So we all agreed not to talk about Father's Day, because he'll get all upset and do that thing where he talks in a high voice and keeps saying, I'm fine. No, really, I'm fine. <sighs> it's super creepy. Uh, I'm looking at pictures of worms because I am thinking of becoming a wormologist. Well, okay, then we gotta hit that worm exhibit at the Science Museum. You get to handle huge armloads of worms. Great! So, what do you want to do this weekend? Hmm, let's see. I have to pick up a whole bunch of cheese from Mirschkolab. Mirschko what? It's a traditional foreign diet. A foreign diet, yes, it's, uh... Nothing but cheese for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <gasps> Give you energy. <gasps> I should go on that. I'll need energy to deal with my brothers on Sunday. You're spending Sunday with your brothers? Yeah, because of knee surgery. They're having knee surgery on Sunday. On their knees. All 15 of them? 13, yeah. You know, just to get it out of the way. Before there's a problem. A knee problem. With their knees. Okay. Well, we'll just have to help you find some get well presents for them tomorrow. Oh, after we go to the big worm exhibit, of course. Three. <laughs> This is a common earthworm. The earthworm is an annelid or segmented worm. Some species can grow as long as 11 feet. Don't show us, don't show us, don't show us. Such don't as show this us. one. Say hello to Dennis. <laughs> now, who would like to get a little closer to the worm? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Pick Carver! Pick Carver! Oh no. <laughs> Now, let's see what happens when we add another barrel of worms. Why do I have a feeling that Carver will be describing this to a therapist someday? What do you mean you're not sure? It's somewhere between 12 and 16. Or more. More. How can you buy presents for your brothers if you don't know how many you have? I can't count them. They're always moving around. Stop the cheese. Okay, let's start over. There's Jamie and Neil and Kirk and... Uh, how many Dannys? Two. Or three. Any idea how many Dannys there are, Carl? <laughs> worms. 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 I can't believe I just bought 16 stuffed dogs with I Wuff You printed on them. Ah, uh, nothing cheers you up after knee surgery like a stuffed animal. Hey, Tish, want some string cheese? <laughs> Carver, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it anymore. Stand what? <laughs> it's amazing what you guys will go through to avoid telling me what you're doing for Father's Day. What? You knew? You don't have to lie to me. I'm fine with not seeing my dad. I'm gonna visit him in a couple of months anyway. How could you let me buy all these stupid dogs? How could you think I'm such a wimp that I couldn't handle talking about Father's Day? Well, Tino's right. He shouldn't have lied to me. Fine. I'll forgive him as soon as everything that's longer than it is wide stops reminding me of a worm. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Say 
So, come on. Tell me what you're all doing Sunday. Are you sure? I promise I'm totally okay with it. Me and my dad are going fishing up on Lake Lago. I hate the fishing part, but the bonding with my dad part is pretty cool. Man, that sounds great. I hardly ever get to hang out with my dad like that. Wait, these guys don't just get to do stuff like this on Father's Day. They get to do it all the time. I never really thought about it before. I'm totally missing out. Oh, man, I am so not okay with this. Dude, you okay? I'm fine. No, really, I'm fine. Then maybe you ought to stop chalking that cue stick to death. Hmm, how was your broccoli, honey? Ah, uh, that would be you. I thought Tino was honey. No, he's sweetie. You're honey. Then who's sugar? Okay, could we not fight? So, Tino, would you like to join my daughter Moira and me for a little a picnic tomorrow? No, no, that's okay. I'm fine. I know Father's Day must be hard for you. No, 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 really. Okay, no problem. Just fine. Are you sure you don't want to talk about it, honey? He's honey. <laughs> So, well, this chicken sure is good, huh? Uh-huh, huh? Hmm, it's not chicken, it's frog. <laughs> hey, frog has less than a third the fat of chicken. Oh yeah, so does asphalt. Ooh, great, thanks for giving away the dessert surprise. Okay, I'm going to stop thinking about Father's Day now, okay? Now, okay, now. Ugh, that does it. There's only one person who can help. I need your help, Captain Dreadnought. Tino, trouble in the Crab Nebula again? No, it's this whole Father's Day thing. I don't know what to do. Great flaming comments, of course. There's only one hope. We must seek the advice of the awesome Dreadnought supercomputer. Hmm. Very interesting. It says you should talk to someone about it. Preferably not someone from a comic book. Also, don't eat frog right before bed. <gasps> Whoa, what time is it? Oh, it's just about midnight. That's true. I should talk to someone. But who am I going to call at this hour? Do you have those in a size 8? Over. Carve, it's Tino. Listen, I thought not having my dad around didn't bug me, but maybe it does. And it's not my dad's fault or anything. I mean, I love him and stuff, but I didn't think I could miss something I never had. But now I feel like maybe I do kind of miss it. Can't talk now. So tired, I smell colors. Over. Oh, that's just great. I finally tell someone how I feel, and what does it get me? A squat. Huh, it's the last time I ask a comic book supercomputer in a dream for advice, even if it was right about the last two presidential elections. Ready for some Father's Day fun, Big C? Mm hmm. <gasps> Father's Day? Tino! Dad, I gotta help Tino. Can we cancel the fishing trip? Well, I suppose... Thanks. It... Oh, thank goodness. Why don't you just tell Carver you don't like fishing? I can't let him down like that. He loves it. But man, I hate those worms. Hey, Tish. I... Yeah, I know what time it is. Listen, I got this call from Tino last night. Wow, he must be really upset. What are we gonna do? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, no problem. My dad won't mind. I'll call Laura. Sure, I can talk my dad into anything. As long as it doesn't involve fireworks or tattoos. Great, I'll see you there. Uh, happy Father's Day. Should've known. The only thing to do with bad feelings is just feel bad. Talking to someone doesn't do any good at all. Happy Father's Day! We thought we'd all spend Father's Day together at Tesla Park. That is, if you're up for it, T. Well, I... I... Aw, oh, thanks, guys. Well, the guys can't do anything about my dad being thousands of miles away, but I'm glad I talked to them about it, because otherwise I wouldn't be here enjoying this exciting thrill ride. So, I guess that proves it's good to talk about stuff, huh? Then can we talk about loaning me five bucks? Some stuff. Later days.
have it. You wish to order a ham and walnut pizza. Sometimes my powers are terrifying, even to myself. Actually, we want a plain cheese. Do not contradict the great anchovy. You shall have the ham and walnut pie your heart desires. Tino here. So we are never going to decide what to do this weekend. Carver says it's too cold for the beach, Laura says the mall is getting boring, and Tish says all the games at Funville are historically inaccurate. Yes, she really said that. Wait, what if we had somebody to make our decisions for us? I think that's what's commonly referred to as a parent. No, I mean one of us. We pick one person to be our leader for the weekend. I like it. But if we're so lousy at decisions, how are we going to decide who will be the decision maker? We need a challenge to select our leader. A true test of character. Hmm. Great challenge, Tish, and I am totally gonna win it. Hey, uh, Carve, what time is it? Ah! Thanks a lot, Tino. Dude, for someone who didn't want to do this, you play hardball. I will bury you! I see a sign, the letter C, and an L, and O, closed! We are closed! Just another minute, one of them's bound to lose it. Hey, T, isn't that thing driving you crazy? What thing? You know, that spider on your neck. Ah! Ah! I <laughs> Hey, I can't believe I fell for that. Lore, that spider bit was crafty. I guess, except there really is a spider on his neck. Now, I'm not going to fall for that. <laughs> Are we really going to give up the right to make our own decisions? Sure, it's going to be great. Just think of all the energy we waste thinking for ourselves. All right, Lore, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Lore. I, Lore. Do solemnly, sincerely, and of my own free will, faithfully undertake... Do, uh, do faithfully undertake. Do faithfully undertake. <laughs> to be a wise and just leader for the duration of the weekend. To be a wise and just leader for the duration of the weekend. Okay, then. Now, you all have to take your oath as followers. Uh, excuse me, huh? I just want to make sure we do this right. Do you all swear to obey any and all of my decisions as leader for the whole weekend? I do. Sure. All right. Do you give your unbreakable word as my friends? I you do. You got it. Yeah, I don't know about this. Tino. Okay, okay. Great. Now what? That's up to you. You're the leader. Mm, let's see. I decide that we'll meet at Funville tomorrow, 10 sharp. Hey, okay, fearless leader. In my day, we had chores on Saturday morning. The fun didn't start till every chicken was milked. Dibs on Time Legion. Hold it a sec. Carver gets to play Time Legion first. Tino, you can play Eternity Patrol. Tish, Chrono Brigade. Assigning us? Carver, do you believe this? I know. Who would have thought not thinking for yourself would be so great? <laughs> okay, time to shoot some hoops. I gotta play one more. Sorry, we're out of here. Okay, you're the leader. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're gonna stop just because Lore says so? You guys were done playing, so by deciding to leave, Lore is maximizing total fun. The desires of the individual must be subordinated to the needs of the group. All hail Lore the First! Hurrah! 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 This is amazing! We've done 16 things already, and it's only new! Oh, yeah. I can't believe we've been to Bagpipe Bonanza and seen knee pads get inducted into the Sports Equipment Hall of Fame. Oh, wise leader, what shall we do next? Laura the First hereby decrees lunch! Hurrah! Oh, leader? Yes, humble subject? I've been trying to decide between a pair of two-tone deck shoes and some green suede slides. Deck shoes? Oh, mighty Laura, I can't decide what to read next. Don Quixote or Gargantua and Pantagruel? <laughs> Donkey one! Oh, noble leader, I have to decide whether to tell my friends they're acting like complete fudge bars. Definitely not. Uh, Lord the First has spoken! Let there be lunch. You have one message. Hi, hon. Dixon and I are heading out to the movies, and there's a seaweed casserole in the oven. Oh, rats. I wanted to ask her about... Oh, by the way. Don't worry. The power will go to Laura's head, and the guys will realize that it's better to think for yourself. And please, get your finger out of your ear. She is freaking me out. Don't be freaked out. Kiss, kiss. Hey, guys. How's it going? When I say 10 o'clock, I don't mean 10.01. Understood? Yeah, sure. It's just that my dad... And don't waste more time with excuses. In my day, if you showed up late, you had to clean the chimney with your tongue. Yeah. Let's check out the Sun Dollar Fair in the boardwalk. That's always fun. Oh, I'll be the judge of that. Fair, fun. No, we're going to Tesla Park. 
So let it be written, so let it be done! The spinning terror nightmare screamer of doom's closed? All the good rides are closed before noon. I tried to tell you, Laura. I don't need you to tell me anything. See? Not the river canoe. pizza but we won't we're going to the mall what's the deal the rest of us want pizza uh, uh, i don't no arguments just for that no one can talk for 10 minutes 20. well we're here at least there's that big sale at shoe biz no shoe stores well and no bookstores right and we're not doing that either what whatever you were going to say I think I now know everything I need to about mobile phone service, lamps, and fine leather goods. Hey, did I say you could sit? Okay, you can sit. I'm starved. Anyone for chili fries? No chili fries. Nachos. I could go for some nachos. Oh, yeah? Well, we're having chicken wings. Or you don't even like chicken wings. Really? Just for that, nobody's eating anything, and we're going to go ride the whip canoe again. Still say it's great not to have to think for yourselves? Okay, you are right. Quick vote. Who says we remove Laura from office? Sorry, Laura. It looks like you're... You can't vote me out. I won the standing on the chairs challenge. I'm leader by right of strength. Come on, Laura. You guys swore to obey me on your unbreakable word as my friends. And I say we're going to ride the whip canoe right now. So get up! I see. Well, maybe you're not breaking your word. Maybe you just aren't my friends. Well, we couldn't let her keep bossing us around. No. We had to rise up and cast off the oppressive yoke of dictatorship, right? Yeah. Well, why do we feel so lousy? Stomach flu? I'll tell you why we feel lousy. Because we made Laura a dictator. We are just as wrong as she was. I think you're just being a halibut. Laura, we just came to say we're sorry. What are you sorry for? I'm the one who was a total jerk. You were? I mean, you were, but you were? Duh. I got completely carried away with the leader thing. Yeah, but we were the ones who were stupid enough to let someone else make our decisions for us. Dude, you're right! It was totally your fault! Don't push it. Sorry. I guess we have to go back to thinking for ourselves. Bummer. Come on. Let's get some pizza. Nah, I say we hit Funville. Mm, there's still that shoe sale. What's wrong with pizza? I'm not hungry, that's what. Well, back to the healthy give and take of a free society. Of course, if I'd been in charge, none of this would have happened. Because I always listen carefully to people's suggestions. Tino, we were thinking... No way, that's crazy. Ha, huh, okay. Later days. 